Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Studio Series 110 Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. And this decal set includes three decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Shockwave, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Shockwave looks awesome. He doesn't have a lot of paint applications, but what he lacks in paint, he makes up with sculpted detailing. I mean, look at this guy. He, just, he looks awesome. Starting here with the head, it's your typical Shockwave look with the Cyclops eye right there. We do have some black on either side of the eye. You got the antennas there on the side. The chest all purple except for the silver scuffing around the center window that looks really good with the translucent purple with the circuitry details etched in. I think that's really cool looking. The arms do have some bronze right there above the bicep and here on the forearm. The rest, of course, black and purple. You got more of that silver scuffing right there. This arm houses the massive arm cannon, which just looks spectacular. I mean, that thing looks like it could pack a punch. Uh, you got more bronze up here. Not any paint applications on the blaster itself. You know, you got your black, your purple. Moving on down to the legs, you got more of the battle scuffing right there. Uh, black for the knees, and really, that's about it. I mean, all in all, that is a great looking shockwave, but I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So, there you go shockwave in robot mode before. Okay, now here's something I didn't even notice in my original review of Shockwave. He has a little Autobot insignia right there on his forearm. I never noticed that until Toy Hacks gave us these decals to cover that up. So, nice little Easter egg or whatever. Do not know why. That's there. And after. And what a difference a few Toy Hacks decals have made on Shockwave here. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here at the top, he gets these new chrome decals along these pylons right here, chrome accents right there along the antennas, and a new eyeball. So that's pretty cool. And the light piping still works, if I can get it to punch through, with the eyeball on there. So I dig that, that's really cool. Now, when you do apply the eye decal, Make sure and use a hair dryer or some form of heat to warp it and wrap it around the circular lens. Moving on down to the chest, he gets a new decal right there. You do have options. I went with this circuitry decal. You do have one that is the Cyber Glow, and that's actually two decals. You put the main one you want on first, and there, then there is a translucent decal that goes over top to give it that nice transparent look. So I really like that. Here on the arms, you get new decals right here on the forearms with the chrome here and here, and a decal that covered up that Autobot insignia. You do have quite a few decals to choose from. Over here on this arm, the gun arm, you get these bronze circle decals right there, decals here, and silver decals right there. Moving on down to the legs, the thighs get these awesome looking chrome decals, chrome decals for the knees, chrome for the side of the legs, and some chrome for the feet. So all in all, a great new look for Shockwave. So there you go guys, Shockwave in robot mode after. 
in vehicle mode straight out of the packaging there's really not much to see that we didn't already see in robot mode after all this is just pretty much shockwave laying down you do get a better look at some of the details for the tank with the treads right there the details right there and you got the little bronze there um the chest front and center on the as the front of the vehicle now I mean, there's really not much to go over in vehicle mode. Big difference is the cannon is now extended. And really, that's about it. So there you go. Shockwave in vehicle mode before and after. Now, some of Shockwave's decals show up a lot better in his tank mode than robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, we've got the Decepticon insignia right there on top of the turret along with the chrome decals right there. You've got the copper circle decals there on either side. Down here on the front treads, we've got the chrome highlights here and here. You can see Shockwave's chest right there with the Decepticon insignia once again. Here now on the front of the tank, you've got the chrome right there and there. That was on the robot's feet, but I think it just works a lot better in the tank mode. Moving on toward the back, you've got all of the chrome decals here on these little sections there. And on the back, we've got the chrome details right here on top that you only saw on one arm earlier, along with the little bronze decals right there. And that's pretty much it for Shockwave in his vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. Shockwave in his vehicle mode after. I really like this decal set that Toy Hacks made for Studio Series 110 Shockwave. It really adds a lot more personality to the figure and it's a prime example of less is more. He doesn't have a ton of new decals, but what he did get really, really works with all the chrome and bronze accents. I love the looks of this guy. The options for the chest is nice, and I really dig the translucent ID cap. So if you happen to have a Studio Series 110 Shockwave, I highly recommend this decal set from ToyHacks.com. And don't forget, when you visit ToyHacks.com, use my monthly promo code to save yourself 15% off your order. But be advised, my code does expire the end of the month. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members, because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!